five, four, three, two, one. Holster going into space. way to launch this new product, the Shapeshift Modular Holster System. And uh, I think we all thought that it should be something really big. And so we decided to launch this thing into space. So if we actually do this and put these into space, we can put a couple behind the camera and then when it comes back down, we can wear those and we will be the only people walking around with holsters that have actually been in space. That's awesome. Do you think astronauts have ever taken a holster into space? Um, you know, on Star Trek, they had their phasers and stuff. I don't know, did they have holsters for their phasers or did they just kind of like whip them out of their spandex like they had, like, or whatever? A little... You know, I can't remember. I don't know. I bet you the real I know astronauts. Star Wars, you know, they all had their. Yeah. Their I bet you the real ones don't. I don't think they've ever probably taken a real gun into space. I think we're going to be the only people who have space holsters. Yeah, definitely. I, it was. I was just testing. So what's what's the real reason we're going to do this? Um, I think the real reason we're going to be doing this is because. Not to say, oh, we survived a drop test from space or anything like Although that. Although we will. Yeah, we, we know that's gonna happen. Um, the real reason is the same reason we've got a ping pong table and a foosball table in the break room. It's because it's fun. Yeah. Um, why not put a holster into space? Yeah, plus we're alien gear holsters. Come on, <laughs> we should put this up in space. Yeah, our stuff belongs there, of course. Uh, yeah. Alan, you know, he's alien and makes sense. Yeah. If you were here, he would agree. Yeah, he is, he is here, isn't he? So we're going to start with the experimental payload. This will have your holsters that we're sending up and the videotaping we're going to do. Two tracking modules using amateur radio. This has a GPS receiver and a modem built for radios. They'll transmit their location every minute, so we'll know the lat long and altitude, then speed and direction. Then we go up to parachute ring. This will keep the shroud lines from twisting up up to the recovery parachute. Recovery parachute goes to our load line and load line ties to the neck of our balloon. We'll fill this balloon, it'll lift, it'll lift all this weight plus about five pounds more, carries it up, balloon expands, bursts, parachute opens up, brings the stuff all back down safely for us. I think we're good. Looking between 90 and 95,000 feet on this flight. Well, so we're landing further north than we planned, so we're going to drive to Edval, and Ed, Edwall is where the balloon will burst over, and it'll be about five or ten miles further north is where it's going to land. But we'll take 231, so once we get out of here, don't get on the interstate, just take 231, we'll drive to Edwall, wait for the balloon to burst. Okay. And we're ready to go, so I guess awesome. let's, get, let's get the ass. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Two, one, holster's going into the... 